Hi everyone, I'm Stark Benjamin, I'm the current game designer for We Are Bots and I'm Wave. Adrien Uffert, I am the CEO of We Are Bots and I'm also the lead programmer. Mm. So We Are Bots is a new founded studio, right? Uh, yes, we founded We Are Bots two months ago and uh, we started working on a small application for mobile device. Uh, it's named Coins Momento. It was a very short project. Uh, it was most test our skills as game developers. Mm -hmm. And with me coming in the team, uh, we are looking at bigger things. Right now, we are doing a project of one month and a half of development. Uh, it is called Wind Dash. Uh, this is still a small team because we have only four uh, 2D and 3D artists, uh, two developers, which includes you, one game designer, which is me, and one community manager, and that's it. Yes, uh, we are still a small team because we want to learn the most efficient way to work as a team before expanding it. So regarding the concept of Windash, there is uh, three ways a concept can emerge. The first one being uh, technology driven. Uh, a modern example would be Oculus Rift. Uh, the second way of uh, create a concept is base it around emotions. The main emotion being used in video games is fear. Uh, a good example would be uh, amnesia. amnesia yes. Yeah, right. So, um, and the last thing is base everything around an ID, and this is our case. Yes, uh, in Windash, uh, everything uh, is around the idea of movement, swift movement, because we want a fast-paced MOBA uh, with short games, 10 to 12 minutes, and it shall be easy to understand for a new player. Mm -hmm. And we divided movements in two kind of sections. Uh, the first one being the movement he decides to make, uh, like moving around or dashing around. And the second part is uh, the movement you're forced to make. Uh, we have an ability called the Wine Blast, which, which creates a huge wave of wine that push people. And since we are on a floating island, he can be pushed off the cliff. Yes, exactly. Um, regarding the background of Windash, uh, we are in a world with a lot of floating islands, uh, where two goblin clans are fighting each other to extract a mineral. Uh, this is very, very valuable mineral, but the island where the game is it, uh, has a lot and a lot of its uh, of, of this mineral. So the real problem is not how you will extract it. The real problem is will you be the first team to fly away from the island with it and to reach the market? Mm -hmm. And to do so, we have a wine generator at the top of the island. Uh, if you can activate it, you can create a huge stream of wine. And you can redirect that stream of wine with a web of wine turbines and you can pump your dirigible up and be ready to fly away. Yes, yeah, so it's as much important for your team to control that web uh, as it is important for your team to, to stop the enemy team from trying to do so. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and so you can become a rich clan of goblins. Yeah. <laughs> Right now we are going to talk about the mechanics in Wind Dash. Uh, the first one being the movement. So the movement is a linear movement. There is no acceleration or deceleration uh, because we want a responsive movement, a very, very fast one, uh, a movement that will uh, reflect accurately the, the, the inputs of the player. Uh, the main thing about the movement is you have collision with the enemy. Uh, you don't have collision with the allies, so you can pass through them with, without any problems. Um, next thing, basically related to movement, is the dash. Uh, the dash is on command. Uh, you move forward in a very, very fast way. Um, as you can see, there is a bar over the head of the character, and uh, when the bar is depleted, you cannot dash anymore. And the dash enter in a sort of cooldown. Uh, next mechanic we want to have in Wind Dash and that actually works programmation wise uh, is the Wind Blast. So when you push the button, you uh, start a wind blast that push every enemies away. And this is only for enemies. Allies won't be pushed away. As you can see, we have a circle to, so you can see exactly the, the ability uh, to touch an enemy or not. And using that, you can push people away off the cliff. As you can see, every time you push a player, uh, there is wind orb that spawn out of him. Every time you catch a wind orb, it Increment your the amount of wine you have for your team. So there is it's supposed to be dead right now. Um, next ability I want to talk about is the shield. The shield is an eight second uh, cooldown ability uh, that render you immune from wine blast. So this is a very skill intensive ability that you can use to predict uh, the way your opponent is going to use his offensive ability. The last thing I want to talk about is the 
generator and the wind turbines. Uh, right now we are near a wind turbine, so he is capturing it. When it turns green, it's actually for your team. Uh, since this is the outer path, we have two wind turbines to capture and then the wind generator. As you can see right now, uh, since this is the early alpha, we have no animations, no, not all the 3D assets, no minimap, there is two missing features. This is the wind generator, so he's capturing it. Once the wind generator is captured, you will see on the top left, the bar, we have a linear uh, and progressive way of amassing the wine. So this is, well, the key feature we are talking about in the first stage of the video. So that's basically it for the, for the mechanics of wine dash. So talking about next week, uh, we will try to upgrade the show a little bit, so this is going to be a way better well, their vlog. Uh, we will also integrate some assets. Yes, according to planning, uh, we will have next week to integrate all the 3D assets to the map, mm -hmm. so it will greatly improve visuals. Oh yeah, absolutely. And we will also have the HUD made by the art director, so yeah. it won't be that rough. Yeah. Uh, also, by the end of the week, we shall have all animations, and uh, it will be a matter of days until it is fully integrated. Okay, so well, I think that's it. Thanks for watching. Have a good Thanks day. Goodbye. Bye.